minutes after 7 o'clock happening today, a rally at the State House will be the latest step in a power struggle over housing rules at the state and local level. Housing advocates say evictions will increase if lawmakers override a veto by the governor. News 8's Angelie Cockaday joins us at the State House. Now, what do we know about the protest plans today, Angelie? Good morning. Well, organizers of the protest say despite the cold, they'll be out here lining the streets of the State House in signs and masks to make their voices heard. Now, that protest is scheduled to begin at 9 this morning and is against Senate Bill 148. Now, the bill would prevent individual cities from taking action on landlord and tenant matters, including expedited evictions and regulating rental properties. Now, Governor Holcomb vetoed the bill back in March, keeping those regulations in place. Housing advocates say the bill goes too far and are calling the General Assembly to conduct a comprehensive review of the state's housing laws. They believe overriding the governor's veto could negatively impact statewide economic recovery efforts and cause an increase in evictions and homelessness in Indiana, something Andrew Bradley with Prosperity Indiana says is more troubling because of the pandemic. And we're seeing evidence that shows that whenever there are new evictions, that increases COVID spread. And then it ultimately increases the death rate through, um, in, in the places where that's affected. Uh, and that's because families who are evicted end up doubling up. Andrew says the bill is a public health threat, and it's more important now than ever for families to have access to safe and affordable housing. Again, that protest is scheduled at 9 this morning on the front steps of the, of the State House. We have more information on the bill right now on WishTV.com. Live in Indianapolis, Angela Cockaday, WishTV, WishTV.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook.